so many people here at MIT first heard about you when you got the perfect score on the, um, the circuit and electronics MOOC. I mean, that would have been impressive for anyone, but in your case, it was even more impressive because you were taking it in your second language and you were only 15, I think, at the time. I mean, do, do you want to tell me about that experience? That must have been incredible. And how, how did you do so well? The course's introduction with Joe motivated me to continue, uh, I mean, to finish that course because um, in, in that video, uh, the Ananda Garo, the professor who taught the 6002X, told me that if you graduate, uh, if you finish this course, you will able to understand the, the, behind the, the principles behind the iPhone. And that, that sounds so cool to me. Then I decided, to, why can I, this is my dream, and I want to know about you know, how people created the iPhone. I want to be a next Steve Jobs. Then I decided to take that course. So the, the kind of things you were learning on that course, is that completely different from anything you would have normally experienced in a Mongolian science class? Y yeah, the, my mind was completely changed after taking that course because before taking the course, I had no idea about you know, what's in differential equation and uh, what's in the operational amplifiers. And this is a really new thing. Even in the Mongolian University, uh, the freshmen and the sophomores don't know about you know, that stuff. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't really cool. And it was really challenging for me because this, the whole concept is so new and novelty for me. And it's so different from the, just in the high school curriculum. So, so, so not only did you, you know, do really well in this course, I also saw you have a, a YouTube channel and you, you were making videos for your classmates where you were explaining some of the difficult concepts and you were translating it into, into Mongolian. They, they must have been really grateful for that. Yeah, <clears throat> so in, in, in the, especially for the developing countries, they're taking the courses from the EDX, Coursera, Audacity is not easy thing because the English is our second language and the, some of the, my school students, uh, English ability is not so good. And in that time, my English ability was also very weak, but I translated the, every single word on the, on the subtitles and that really helped me to understand what's going on and what the professor is talking about. Then I translated the, the content itself and I put a lot of effort to watch the, movie, watch the lectures as well as translating them. Then I decided to share my knowledge with my friends and then I prepared the w online video lectures in my own language and put that on a YouTube and the, everything the, initially, it was about seven people was watching that, and then it was increasing because I was explaining the every hard concept. And mm -hmm. I hope that by watching my movies, the my classmates also earned the certificate from the six double two X. It's fantastic. And yeah. I, I saw as well on that channel you you had a video about was it some kind of siren you designed, um, which was for, for a garage because you were concerned about the kids that were playing in your neighborhood. I mean, do you want to tell me about that project? <clears throat> so in Mongolia, it, again, it is the developing country. So the situation is very different from the United Kingdom and the United States. And in Mongolia, nobody really don't care about the safety standards. And the people usually don't put, they pay so much attention for the protecting the community or the protecting the children from the accident. Then I decided to protect the children uh, who's the, the children who are playing around the underground garage. And and the my idea, the my whole project is really easy to accomplish. And the idea itself is already existing in the United States. And but even though the idea itself is really, really easy, it was almost impossible for me to implement my idea. Because in Mongolia, there is no electronic shop. And in Mongolia, nobody will support you to do your project. Then I have to accumulate the parts, the electronic parts from the broken, 
the machines and the broken circuit bars. Mm -hmm. And it took me in about you know, one month to accumulate the, all the parts that I needed to build my project. So then you, you know, having achieved this success um, doing the MOOC and, and, and designing the system, you, you then decided to apply to come to the US and, and, and study. I mean, was that, you know, were you encouraged to do that because of your contact with your principal? So was that, you know, by spending time with him and his friends at Tony, Tony Kim, did that encourage you in a way to, to apply to university here? Y absolutely, yes. Um, without the, my school principal and uh, his friend, I was, it's impossible for me to come to MIT because they offered me to take the course and uh, they motivated me to apply to MIT. Mm -hmm. And after taking the course, I was pretty confident that I can be successful at MIT and I can do that. But the application process is really hard. You have to take the several exams and you have to write down the essays. And in that time, I wasn't sure that I, whether or not I could accomplish. And, but the Enki and the Tony suggested me, Batushik, you can do that. Batushik, you have an opportunity. Batushik, you have a potential. And there's no reason that you don't apply to MIT. Then I applied and I'm sitting here and interviewing with you. <laughs> so it's, just, I mean, it's a great story, and you, you know, you've, so you've arrived and you're living here and you're studying here. Um, how, are you, how are you finding it so far, the transition? How are you finding life in the US? For the first, um, first month, uh, the hardest thing was to find my way to have to go up to the, uh, the one lecture hall to in our way because MIT itself is really big. <laughs> and sometimes without a smartphone, it wasn't kind of hard for me to it's find my ways. It, it, it's quite hard for anyone uh, to find their yeah. way. And the simplest things like the going to grocery shop is hard for me because mm -hmm. I have no idea about the, where, where is the grocery mm -hmm. shop and the how, how can I go there. But <laughs> now I'm completely learned and adapting this culture that makes me more and, happy. And how about um, just university life? I mean, are you getting involved in freshman activities? Have you joined any societies or clubs or that, that kind of thing? So um, I'm at MIT's photographic club, which is called the Tech. And I like to take the photos. And that's really, that is my hobby. And I discovered my new hobby after arriving at MIT. What are you um, actually studying? What, what modules are you doing at the moment? Um, so I'm planning to major in electrical engineering and computer science. And in this semester, I'm learning about the differential equations and the biology and the chemistry. Uh, to try to see that the biology and the chemistry is the right uh, thing for me or not. Mm -hmm. But I, the currently it's almost end of the semester, then I strictly decided to major in electrical engineering and computer science mm -hmm. to make people happy. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's quite early days in your career at MIT, but have you thought yet about when you finish? I mean, do you know yet what you might like to do when you graduate? My dream is I want to make people happy through my projects, through my innovations, through whatever I, w I do. And every time when I'm learning the new stuff, every time when I'm working on a project, I think about how it could bring the happiness for the people in the future. And that gave me a lot of energy. So after graduating from MIT, I can for sure to tell you, I mean, to promise you that I will probably do the something mm -hmm. that can make people happy. Matisha, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Good luck with your studies. Nice to meet you. Mm. And it was my pleasure to have an interview with you.